Yo, 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 what's good, world? Back with another one, man. Like I never left, man. Rick Ross and Tia Kemp got something going on, man. I'm going to let y'all see the footage and everything of what's going on. But uh, Tia Kemp, Rick Ross, I'm pretty sure, you know, y'all know who they are. Of course, Rick Ross. Tia Kemp is his baby mama, however they want to say, ex-wife, whatever. More professional. But the son just got shot. He was at a smoke shop. You know, uh, they didn't say he passed anything. So they, I guess he's, you know, he's recovering from, you know, his wounds or whatnot. But um, honestly, man, if you Rick Ross and you got that kind of bread, like you shouldn't have them in an environment like that. I mean, I don't care what kind of situation me and the baby mama in or whatever. I'm I'm caking like that, bro. I'm making sure that they straight. You know, whether if it's a fallout or not, man. If it's a fallout, I mean that's 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 only right. Your due diligence, man. You gotta make sure that mom is straight, so the kids is good, man. And that dude should have been out there in a smoke shop like that, man. Like basically naked. I mean if that was my son, I need security. I mean, he can he can not give it to the baby mama all he want, but make sure the kids is straight, man. That's that's what I'm not understanding, man. Like y'all got all this kind of bread, man, that y'all be throwing in the club. You could have gave that to the kids, man. It don't make no sense, man. All I can say is, you know, my condolences out, you know, to the family and prayers out to the family, friends, everyone, close ones. Good thing, you know, he's he's still here and uh you know, he, he's going to get into that recovery stage. And uh, next thing you know, you know, he's going to be moving even more better, more so. Because now he he should have realized that both his parents is out there like that. And people probably know who he is out the gate. So, just got to be, you, know, you just got to be more careful, more safe, man. You got to move right, man. I don't care if you... Not all the way famous, and you dare you you, you you can't move the same as a regular person. Mm -mm. How you think some of these celebrities be feeling so miserable, man? They get so famous, and they so caught up in that spotlight, and they be loving it. They be loving it, right? But then when it's time to go to the gas station, so you pull up in your drop top, pull up in that whip, you can't do that. It's time to go to the mall. You're like, man, I want to stunt, come out iced out, and this and that. Can't do it. Let's go to the movies. People going to know who you are. Like right now, they got the fair. You go to the fair, you can't do it. You're too big, you're too known, you can't really enjoy your life. I mean, you walk down the strip in California or in Miami, they're going to know who you are. The only time you're going to blend in, really. More so is if you're in New York. And if you're famous, they're going to know who you are anyway. But you got a better chance to blend in New York than you do anywhere else because there's so many people. And see, like, you got to think about it, too. Like somebody like Bill Gates. That dude was out there. Yeah, he got spotted the other day, you know, because he, he was out there and whatnot. But you got to think, most people wouldn't even know who that dude is. Cause they just walk right by him. He ain't got all the trinkets and all that stuff on him standing out. This dude was just chilling. You know, even the Rothschilds. You're not going to know if you've seen them. Like, you really got to be looking at each and every single person and trying to really specifically, hey, I'm going to find somebody famous today type thing. And you really wouldn't even. <laughs> it's too many people, you know, so. He just got to do better. Good thing he's here. You know, he's recovering. Ross, you got to do better, man. Forget the baby mama shit, bro. Them kids old enough now to the point where you can get them bread, bro. Make sure the kid's straight, man. Ain't nobody perfect. But all I'm saying is the kind of bread you claim that you got and you bragging about. and Bro, make sure the kid's straight, bro. If you ain't going to make sure the baby mama's straight, too, she carried the kid, bro. Like, I understand you got a disagreement, but for me, I'm like this. If I if, if I got a hundred million, I'm at least throw fifteen to the kid and her. 
Now they up, they good. You know, that's just me personally, man. Like, because if you go down, you can go down by yourself. You know, you know what I mean. So it's like, you know, she. If you go down and she come up, she ain't gonna help you. So it's just you just gotta pick your poison, man. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation scenario, man. You know, um, drop in the comments, man. Hit the subscribe button. Run that up for me, man. As always, I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, man. Support everything, man. And we're going to keep going up, man. We're going to keep running it. You know, to the next time, man. I'm out. Rock with this, Christina Vasquez joining us live with the latest on the search for a shooter, Christina. And now police do need your help with this investigation. Take a look. A man in his 60s delivering these beverages to this Liberty City market this morning, now recovering from a gunshot wound, say police, after being caught in the crosshairs of a drive-by shooting. Gray sky and bouts of steady rainfall. Crime scene technicians worked to collect evidence. This morning at approximately 9 a.m., we received a shot spotter alert indicating several shots fired. Officers would find two men with gunshot wounds. One being a black male, approximately 27 years of age, and a second was a Hispanic male, in his 60s. Their investigation would reveal just as the man in his 60s was making his morning delivery. The vehicle had driven by, had shot several shots at the black male and unintentionally hitting the Hispanic male that was actually delivering sodas to a local business. Um, both of them were transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital and they are in stable condition and being treated. And of course, that is the good news in all of this, in the sense that these two men that are suffering and now recovering from these gunshot wounds, they are expected to be okay. But police are trying to identify the driver and the gunman. If you have any information about this case, you can give Miami Police a call or you can call Crime Stoppers. Remember, your call there can remain anonymous. The number one by shooting sent two men to the hospital. Police say one of them was the intended target. It happened outside of a smoke shop in the 6900 block of Northwest 7th Street in Miami. When officers arrived, they say a car drove past the two men intending to hit one of them. There was a vehicle driving by and intended to shoot at uh, the black male when the Hispanic male that was delivering soda to a, to a local business was accidentally shot on the leg. No arrests have been made and police need information. If you have any information, contact Miami police. Get on your knees and repent because if you send another motherfucking hit message out here, I'm a motherfucking half first 48 hit you up. You bad. You scared of jail, huh? <laughs> you scared of jail, bitch. You remember? You was in that cry for that motherfucking quarter Chinese fried rice, bitch. You was trying to pay a god 5K for when you was in that for them couple weeks. You don't want no pressure. Keep fucking playing. Keep it on. I can't wait to see you in the headlines, you big mouth, bitch. All you do is brag and talk shit about around doing good or bad you's a wicked i'm sick of your i'ma tell i'ma tell <laughs> i'ma take you playing with me i'ma tell willie keep happy willie keep playing farmer's market on griffin road you know where to go you fat I'm not fit to play with you no more by mine, so you playing games. This that shit is old, man. If you could pay enough punks and out like there in motherfucking Mississippi and Tennessee and all that shit, all you want to hold, it ain't going to shut it down or stop nothing, you big bad You still fucking on Ross? Girl, no, it ain't. It's cause you said I was fucking on you. You was talking about Drake. You, I saw no motherfucker. Did you really see I was in his refrigerator? I found some needles, girl, and I'm going to keep it. Have you ever shot him with the needles? Because you know no. how sometimes they be needing help. No. How many years ago this was? This was just last year. Uh, oh, you was fucking him last year. I'm so shamed. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little twist back, bitch, your mind. I don't know who the fuck you is, and I may be wrong. I'm sorry if I am. But somebody say you been going off on auntie, and I believe it. Because I don't know what the fuck up with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers trying to stay relevant or something and coming at the wrong bitch. 
to get your motherfucking head told the fuck off Motor Combat style. I don't like doing that shit to people, man. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. But when I have to, I get a thrill out that motherfucking shit. I'm like the grim fucking reaper, bitch. It tickles me. I'm flattered by it. I love it. You better ask your motherfucking daddy how long I ride that bitch. When he gives me a motherfucking problem, I don't let the fuck up till I get motherfucking tired and that's rap. You hear me, bitch? Do you hear me, ho? Go to bed now. Do something with yourself. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm telling you, Charles, I'll be back to get your ass and chew your ass up too in a minute, bitch. I get back here later on today. I got something for y'all, motherfuckers. I'm gonna lay you and your motherfucking wife out, motherfucker. I'm gonna get you, you radio man, bitch. See, I'm learning all your nicknames they done gave you. Radio. Why Baby. you ain't got no neck? What Why you talking you, about? It look like. <laughs> what the hell you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I got a little neck. What the hell you talking about? I ain't got no neck. <laughs> it look like you do it. What you doing, like, like? Like you said, I don't know. I don't know. You got ass. You got this crop top. I like you, big. You like me? I like big bat. I ain't no big bat. Here's a big bat. So look right there. Look. What's one? Why you just throw me like that, nigga? Look right there. Look at that. Look at that over there. Look at that. Ain't nothing over there. Why you gotta do all the way like this to turn around? Shit, cause I ain't got no neck in there, motherfucker. Shit. Stop playing, y'all. I already know what the time it is, man. Pakistan, you already know. Lay around for that new video coming soon, man. You Rallo officially know. home. Stop playing. The video ain't just it, baby. Standing baby. on business, man. We got you know big it. business coming. Super. Lay around, man. Lay around. <laughs> was pregnant at 14. Y'all saw it in the media. Google her. Tried to tell her grandma now she drunk water and know how to poke, poke her belly out. You were pregnant from a football player that was going to college and his mammy and them said, you better get rid of They ran you to the abortion clinic. It's on Google. You look. Bitch, I beg you to stop, because your brother embarrassed her. You know not to come to the door. Your mama sending shares. Come to this door, little <laughs> Since you the bully, you got all the followers, your mom and daddy pushing you up. Tell that I put them back in the cardiac. Um, you met him at a nightclub? Yeah, I met him at a, a, club, a club called Club Crave. It was Club okay. Crave at the time on South Beach. Okay. Do you remember what y'all was drinking that night? Uh, No, but I know he was like aggravated me to be honest me and my friend girl came out we were just like walking around probably for to go to the bar or something we didn't have no section or nothing like that and he saw me and he kept following us around and was like y'all come over here well you know him i guess him and his little crew was at and just was you know constantly you know at me or whatever and we eventually went over there and, and that's how we connected and we was basically hanging around each other you know basically within two days okay. you know like every day okay so and two years later y'all end up having a child together exactly that's mm -hmm. little will yes um who's 18 years old now yes he just turned 18 september of last year um i'm actually just college. leaving his his trunk party literally you know i had to leave it a little early to make it here for this interview right today was his trunk party mm-hmm yeah, uh, he's on his way to Bethune Cookham University. Bethune, Bethune Cookham University. Yes, Cookham University. Excuse yes. my language. Hell Wildcats, baby. Hell Wildcats. That's an HBCU here in Florida, correct? Yes, Daytona, Florida. Uh, did his was his father able to make it to the trunk party? Of course not. He didn't even make it to his high school graduation. Y'all know where we at.